Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I have another Forza Motorsport 7 related video but today I'm going to talk about Forza Motorsport 7 and some interesting facts we did get from E3. So in the base game there is over 700 cars. In Forza Horizon 3 there was just over 300 or 350. So Forza Motorsport 7 will have 700 cars. And then within a year of that game releasing, you've got all the DLC, so there'll probably be just over 800 cars in that game. Usually DLC and expansions altogether add just over 100 cars. And if they did Forza Fun events in that maybe, weekend events to win more cars, could be even more, pushing over 850 cars all in all. God, this game is going to be mad. So the next fact is it's going to release October the 3rd for stuff like Xbox One, PC and Windows 10, I believe. But I think I've heard somewhere that Xbox One X, it will come October the 7th. So, not too sure on that. I've tried researching it now, but I can't find it. But I definitely read somewhere that that is happening. And again, with all these websites, you just can't trust much nowadays, can you? Also, I've read that early access for the game will start September the 29th, which is quite a few days early than the actual release date, which is interesting. Another fact is that it will have dynamic weather where it will start off cloudy, then during the race it could start raining. That has never been done before, so it, it could start off cloudy, like I said, and then by the end of the race it's chucking it down. There's massive puddles which will affect your handling and it will just cause you to aquaplane, basically, where your car just has no grip and it just slides across the water and just goes into a wall or something. Next fact is on Xbox One X it will be running at 4K which is pretty obvious, really. The next fact in Forza Motorsport 7 is that Porsche is definitely in the game from the start, and it's the only racing game to have the biggest amount of Porsches in it. Like, no no other game has put as many Porsches in a game than Forza Motorsport 7. It will also have the largest collection of Lamborghinis and Ferraris, as well as Porsches, like I've just said, so that is very, very good. Like, loads of Lambos, loads of Ferraris, loads of Porsches. Can't go wrong with that. Forza Motorsport 7 will also have 30 racing environments, and more than 200 variants of the track, so that is very, very cool. So over 200 races you can do on a different track, so that is actually crazy. Also, Maple Valley Raceway will return for Forza Motorsport 7. I believe it was in games like Forza Motorsport 4. It's been in Gran Turismo. I actually love that track. It was amazing for drifting, so that is going to be very fun. It's got an autumn-y style to it, like all the trees are like it's in autumn. It's very, very cool. The cover car for the game is the new 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. It got announced at E3 and it's going to be the cover car for Forza Motorsport 7. Like Forza Motorsport 6, the cover car was a blue Ford GT. So yeah, got a Porsche on the cover. Even better. There's also a desert track in the game, which is going to be very good. And it does look like the desert does actually come onto the track, like sand blown across the track and all that. I think it's in Dubai or something like that. So that is good. It looks like a long track where you can get a lot of speed as well, so that is going to be fun for racing cars like Lamborghinis, Bugattis, that sort of stuff. So guys, that was some Forza Motorsport 7 facts. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new around here for many racing game videos, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.